Hey you guys, this video is for parents, so you don't have to have your kids around to watch this. I'm just going to give you some ideas of how to use the alphabet packet that we sent home with you um, just to give your kiddos a little bit of extra practice with identifying their letters. So we sent this just because we're noticing that they're struggling a little a little bit with knowing the letter names and um, this is just something extra you can do with them at home. I'm also going to put in the email that this video is coming in um, some online resources you can do with them too. So some games that you can look at online, some videos that you can show them online that just have to do with um, letter naming. So in your packet, I just took the parent letter off and inside your packet you guys have a name puzzle for your kid. Um, the reason we do the name puzzle is because it's usually easier for them to learn the letters in their name first because they're writing them all the time, they're reading them all the time, everything here at school is labeled with their name. So it's just the letters that they see the most right now is the letters in their name. And you guys have some alphabet cards that have the um, uppercase and lowercase. And then we have an alphabet queuing. This is called a queuing chart. So some we have um, at school Letterland, and we use Letterland for our cues, but we don't have a queuing chart like this made up of Letterland characters. But that's okay, because um, it still has the letters. It has a picture for each letter on it that it starts with. So that it'll work too. And you guys have a marker, a dry erase marker. And this is for erasing with our dry erase marker. Now, I'm going to just show you guys what I would do with them here at school with some of this stuff. And then you guys can practice with them at home too. And it's pretty easy peasy. If you got your own way you want to practice letters at home, go for it. But if you want to use some of these ideas, you can use those too. So I'm going to call over my helper. Um, I'm going to use my daughter as my guinea pig today. She's my kindergarten kid. <laughs> Not really kindergarten kid, but I'm going to use her anyway. So what we would start with would be the letter the um, name puzzle and what I would do is I would just give it to her mixed up and I'm going to tell her to put her name in order. So go ahead fix your name in order the way you write it and the way the letters are supposed to come. And if they're struggling, help them. But most of them are going to be able to put their puzzle together in order because they can write their names now and they they know what these letters look like. They may not know the name of them, but they know what they look like. Now, this is where the tricky part comes. I'm going to now point to the letters with her and I'm going to see if she can say the letters in order. So you go ahead and say the letters for me. S. H-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. And they may be able to do that because it's easier to learn things in order when you're repeating it in the same order over and over again. But now this would be the even more tricky. If I mix her letters up, and you guys try this with your kiddos and just see how they do. Mix them up. They're not in the right name order. So her name's mixed up now. And I'm going to see if she can tell me the letters randomly name them that's in her name. E. Okay, good. Y. S. L. A. H. E. And she has two E's. Now, she can do it. Yes, 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 that's good because she's not six or five years old and just <laughs> learning. So, I'm going to pull out whatever letters she does not know. If she knows them, great. I'm going to put them to the side and forget about those. But the letters, we're gonna pretend like she didn't know three of her letters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her trace them a few times. We use alphabet trace books at school. And I'm gonna say, all right, Shaylee, I want S you to use your finger and trace your letter and say it. So S, if she doesn't know it, tell her. Do it again, do S again. S Make them do it a few times. All right, do this one. So, tracing it helps you to know that they're actually concentrating on that letter instead of their eyes wandering or their brain wandering. If they're touching it and saying it at the same time, you know they're more focused on it that way. So, that's why we touch and say at the same time. Now, this little thing is going to serve two purposes. So, it has the alphabet on here to find, to just queuing chart, just to try to look at helps us um, recognize our letters to do more games with them that I'm going to show you guys later. But it also has this solid green back part. This is just going to work as a dry erase board. 
So anytime you're trying to teach your kiddos something that they don't know, this could be with sight words, this could be numbers, this could be with letters. So right now we're just concentrating on letters. It's easier for them to point to one and tell that you're telling them to find instead of them randomly naming it as you flash it. I know a lot of times when we use flashcards, we want to hold it up and them say S and then hold it up and them say A. Instead of doing that, when they're not sure, they're not solid in it yet, I, I would do this with them. And this is what I do with them at school. I'll lay out the three that I know they don't know. And I'll say, okay, point to H for me. Point to the letter H. It's easier to pick it out like that than it is for me to hold this up and expect her to name it if she doesn't know it. Because she's going to say a random letter that she doesn't, that's not correct if they don't know it. And then, so that's messing them up. They're saying something that's not correct and they're looking at this letter not knowing that it's H. So it's just easier for the first few times if you say, okay, point and find the one I'm asking. So point to S for me. Woo, good job. Give that positive reinforcement. Okay, then point to A for me. All right, I'm gonna mix them up. So I do this with your kiddos at school. I'm gonna mix them up. Now, can you point to S? Can you point to H now? Yes, yay, can you point to A? Awesome. Now, we have our marker and our dry erase board. Leave it in the sleeve and it'll serve as a dry erase board. All right, now, can you find H up here and write H for me on your right board? There. Good. Find it first, then write it. Okay, now, can you find the letter A up here and write it on your board? Right there. Okay, write A. Awesome. Can you find S and write it on your board? Yes. So, to, in an effort to not take up too much of your time, she can then use her puffy eraser to erase it. You guys can practice like that as many times as you want. If you say, whoa, 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 my kiddo knows all the letters in their name, then super great, awesome. Move on and start adding some of these letter cards to it. Um, you guys have uppercase and lowercase. You could also play like a matching game with it. I wouldn't use all cards at the same time. I would pick out the letters in their name. So Shaylee, I would just pick out it, capital S, lowercase s, capital H, lowercase s, and all the letters that are in her name and have her play a matching game with her letters from her name first. But the deal is the only way they can keep the cards is if they can name them too, okay? So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, it's just easier for me to explain it than to type it all out in a letter how to do it. I'm going to send um, some more ideas your way next week. But if you want to start with this one, super awesome. And um, I'm also, or I think I already said that I'm going to put some links in the um, email. That's some online games, songs, stories, things like that, that your, you, your kiddos can watch and play for letter naming. All right. Thanks for all you guys are doing at home. I know that it takes a lot of time, but it's going to help tremendously. Be happy. <laughs> okay. Bye, you guys. Thanks.